connecting NASA with beavers is going to be kind of sound strange to a lot of people, but once we explain the whole process, what's going on here, I think it'll become clear. I think in a lot of ways this beaver idea uh, is starting to catch on. I, I think a lot of people are realizing that, you know, without beavers, these waters had just, they basically deteriorate. Jay is an Idaho rancher who worked with researchers to bring beaver back to his land in 2014. Within six years, there were more than 200 beaver dams along the creek, and the stream on Jay's property flowed 40 days longer into the year. With European colonization and beaver trapping and the re-engineering of the landscape by humans, um, beavers were pretty much extirpated, especially from more populated areas. So we went from having a lot of beavers everywhere to um, just a few beavers in uh, very remote places. A NASA-supported effort is adding remote sensing data to a suite of tools used to predict which streams can support beaver rewilding and monitor how water and vegetation change once beaver return. The work that we were doing this morning was about trying to attract and lure beaver and what we're seeing up here in terms of then taking, you know, we built 25 fake beaver dams and now there's well over 200 of them. We treated a half kilometer, now they're covering five kilometers. And so what we're trying to do today is help people see that sort of progression, right? Like downstream, we're just throwing sticks in the stream. Why are we doing it? What are we trying to attract? We're trying to attract beaver to do the work for us and then to keep that going. To support beaver-based restoration efforts, the project is adding satellite data into tools that help conservationists and resource managers. The work that we're doing typically is kind of expensive. It takes a lot of uh, time and money to go out there and monitor these stream restoration projects, but if we can find ways to use these freely available data in replicable ways, maybe we can monitor these projects in more efficient ways. For folks who are actually implementing beaver rewilding, they have to put a ton of resources into monitoring the effects of beaver rewilding. So they have to hike to remote places and they have to do that multiple times per year. And so a lot of times that monitoring is not even really happening because it's just too labor and time intensive. So we can help agencies understand what's going on in the landscape and the impacts of the beaver rewilding because we're basically monitoring using this freely available satellite imagery. How can we see changes on the landscape? And the satellite imagery can help us monitor those changes. So you can see what it looked like before you brought the beavers in, and then over time you look at the satellite imagery later on how things have changed, and you can actually measure that change um, using the satellite imagery. There's Idahoans who are doing this awesome kind of work that is improving the landscape. And by our involvement, we hope to both understand what's happening better, but also bring more attention to some of these folks who are really doing the work on the ground and um, making Idaho a better place to live. <laughs>